Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're going to uncrate the AGV Pista GPRR. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump into this absolute badassery on the table today, do us a favor. Subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you stay up to date. We're always working hard to educate you, bring you the latest product reviews. If you subscribe, that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us, and we really do appreciate that. There's a link in the description below that'll get you right over to the AGV Pista GPRRs at speedaddicts.com. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Okay, AGV, this is the flagship racing helmet from the Italians. If you're not familiar with the Pista, GPRR, it is definitely one of the absolute top racing helmets produced today. This thing is just bonkers. Not only does it look just incredibly sexy, this is the carbon fiber iridium print. If you can't see it, there is a slight iridium tint to this clear. It looks different colors at different angles. It is the hotness this year and we are in summer of 2023. This helmet's been around for a while, okay? It's been out for a minute. They're coming out with lots of different colorways, special editions, the graphics never disappoint from AGV. They know what they're doing. Now, the reason why this is so special in the AGV lineup, not only is it just technically a marvel, but it's actually still made in Italy where the rest of the uh, AGV lineup um, is made outside of Italy, yes? I hate to break it to you, but most of your favorite Italian brands are not made in Italy anymore. Um, they've all flocked to Eastern Europe or Asia in chase of less expensive labor because it is very expensive to make things in Italy. And that, of course, brings us to the very premium price tag on this AGV piece of ranging anywhere from $1,200 all the way up to, yes, $1,700. So not an inexpensive piece here but you have to consider this is 100% carbon fiber. The weave is incredibly well laid and symmetrical. You cannot find a flaw anywhere in this carbon fiber. Sure, you can spend about half as much and get a very competent racing helmet in carbon fiber, but when you look closely at it, it's just nothing like this. So this is gonna be DOT ECE 2206 and FIM homologated. It's triple homologated. So. In terms of safety, they're really pushing the boundaries. They're up to date with all the latest safety testing and regimens. The weight, it is incredibly lightweight for a GP helmet. What I mean by that is that this is tuned to go 200 miles an hour. This is not, you know, your canyon carving helmet. While you can use it on the street, it's really designed to cut through the air at much higher speeds on the track. That is not a challenge for you to go out and uh, try to do MotoGP speeds on the street, but to each its own. So usually when they make these GP helmets, they get longer, they add spoilers onto them. This has a hydration kit. They're not always necessarily the lightest helmets in the manufacturer's lineup, but this one happens to be very lightweight. So we're talking about 3.2 pounds for this one on our scales here at Speed Attic. So uh, weights may vary depending on if it's a Europe, uh, an EC only helmet, not a DOT helmet or something like that, but we're approaching three pounds, which is the inflection point of very, very light helmets. Anything near that three pound mark and further away from four pounds is going to feel very light on your head. It's going to pay dividends in those longer track sessions. It's gonna extend your riding time without fatigue as is this riding position. More on that in a minute. Let's get into the fit on the Pista GPRR. We have four shell sizes, which is incredible. You want more shell sizes, it's going to give you a closer fit to your head. In addition to that, AGV offers their famous half sizes. So you have size small all the way up to two extra large with a medium small and a medium large in the mix. So there's no tweeners here. In addition, they're gonna give you a padding kit, standby, to really fine tune this helmet and make it become one with your meat vehicle. Okay, look at all those different little padding inserts make up any sort of odd spaces uh, that you need to or any sort of shake or wobble. Very tunable fit, which is what athletes are gonna expect who are typically wearing this helmet. Now, when it comes to fit, remember, buy your helmets with us at Speed Addicts, you're gonna be covered by no cost returns. What does that mean? 
means we don't nickel and dime you on return shipping like those other guys. You're gonna get that free return label. You're gonna be able to get it back to us, get a different size, get a different colorway, whatever you need to do to qualify, live in the lower 48 states, and make sure the helmet is brand new in the original condition with all the tags and bags, take care of the stuff, and we'll take care of you. Okay, back to the Pista GPRR. Let's talk about the front ventilation first. Very interesting things going on here. Up top, crown vents and a dead center vent here. You'll notice there are not doors on these top vents. They can't uh, waste the weight on them. So in the box, you're going to get covers for those. Sorry. Now it's hard to see them floating around in this bag. Oh, here you go. So these are covers for the ventilation. So if you're riding in cooler weather and you want to stop these vents, you're going to have to put in these plugs. Again, this is a track oriented helmet. They're also giving you ear plugs. This is not the quietest helmet. This is a racing helmet. Again, wear your ear protection out there on the track or on the street. You have a bite valve and a ton of other goodies in here. That's kind of what comes in the box. <clears throat> so that is your front ventilation package. Down low, more interesting stuff going on. This does have a switchable close, closing front chin bar vent, and you can switch that from inside the chin bar. Now, you'll notice these little scoops are angled so that they're most efficient in that forward tucked riding position because that's where you should be if you're wearing this helmet. And uh, then in the rear, as we move to the back, you notice passive rear exhaust vents. This helmet ventilates extremely well. That was one of the focuses at AGV when they were designing this helmet and working with those MotoGP athletes, including the doctor himself. Let's talk about that arrow real quick before we get to the, the face shield. So very stable helmet. In fact, this is the most stable lightweight racing helmet or super lightweight racing helmet that we sell. It cuts through the air very nicely. You're able to do checks, turn your head at high speeds without the helmet becoming unstable. Now, there are helmets that are nearly as stable or just as stable as this at speed, but they're about a quarter to a third of a pound heavier than the Pista R or GPRR. And that's why folks are willing to spend the extra on this helmet because of that weight savings. And of course, it's carrying all the homologations here. I like what they did with the spoiler in that it is held on by three screws, two on the side and one underneath. So if you crack this or need to replace it for any reason, you can do so without fighting a bunch of adhesive. Also, other helmets that rely on adhesive, they can tend to lift over time and just create problems. So they're holding it on with screws and it is cool looking that it is clear. There's a little bit more um, uniqueness to it, shall we say. Up to the face shield inside of the Pista, you will get a clear install on the helmet as well as a mellow smoke. You notice that is not super dark and I really don't prefer super dark face shields at the track. Uh, they can just, unless it's a really, really bright sunny day, they tend to take away some of the texture and context uh, out there for me. So that's what they're going to give you in the box. It is pin lock prepped and tear off prepped. So that's what these big posts are on the side. Tear offs in case you're not familiar. Um, it's going to be a film that is sold separately that you can peel off mid race to get a clear vision if you're getting tired debris or bugs out there on the track. So this is uh, tear off prepped. The face shield itself is the classic AGV dagger here that drops in to this front lock, okay? If you pop it up, it will set up on top and kind of give you a demist setting to get a little bit more airflow in through the face shield. But once it's locked in, it is locked in and good. And there are no detents. Again, this is made for the track. It is either all the way up or all the way down and locked. Okay, don't expect detents. The face shield changes are not bad. This mechanism, you can switch them out pretty quick. Again, it's not like you're gonna be out there on the road typically with this helmet. You can do it back at the paddock and uh, switch out for whatever lighting conditions you're running into with this face shield. It's nice and sturdy. It does make a pretty good seal. A lot of racing helmets tend to leak air um, just because they're not built to the same kind of tolerances that some of the street are when it comes to the weather stripping and uh, the pista does not do that so if you get sensitive eyes with air leakage and that sort of thing you should be in decent shape here let's flip over the helmet and check out the internal work here love the rat red accents very racy 
very professional grade as you touch the, the materials here every bit of it feels like it is definitely a professional product which it is we have a hydration system the bite valve is located in that package here you can hook this up to uh, whatever sort of racing bottle or hydration system that you are using now oh, I busted all right been busted I pulled this little cap off of it well we'll put that back on later okay you have emergency quick release cheek pad or cheek pads here in case EMS has to get you out of the helmet you also have a chin curtain as we pull out the D rings they are titanium which sounds cool you've shaved a fraction of an ounce congratulations here we go and we're gonna pull out these cheek pads here we have a neck roll with breathable water resistant fabric here it's kind of got like a checkered pattern on it and we're just going to remove this whole section so you can see the internals of this pista as we go they're using their two dry moisture wicking emergency uh, cheek pads here we go let me get the rest of this guy and we'll show you what this looks like the neck roll and the cheek pads are all one piece there are a few snaps to contend with and there we have it got like a micro suede Alcantara like feel to this really high end beautiful place to be very comfortable and because they have small medium uh, medium small large large small extra large, there's no one left out you can really find the exact size and fitment out of the box that you are going to require multi-density EPS liner that of course is passing all those safety specs that we talked about earlier as you'll notice there are no cutouts for speakers it's not a street helmet one more time as we remove the back of the crown here pull this out of the way we have two snaps up in the front and two snaps on the back I know some people really have an issue with those forehead snaps it could depend on how much hair you have it's never really bothered me but it does have two snaps up in the forehead we have holes in so that the ventilation system can blow cool air into this now you can move this liner around it is fully customizable and those pads that i showed you earlier can be used in combination with this liner adjustment system to give you the right fit and give you the right tension across this comfort liner here there it is and that is the interior notice that it is channeled it is ported you see all those holes up in the front it's going to blow a lot of air and they are vented to the back they are not channeled all the way down to the back of the neck which I have seen on some other competitors but the piece that does flow a lot of the air as it stands that about does it this is definitely one of my favorite helmets of all time and I've seen them all not only because it's beautiful but it really stands up to the test at the track in terms of the stability the aerodynamics and the ventilation all the homologations are there check check and check lot we went over today you still got questions don't worry rider support is standing by at speed addicts where you can always talk to the human over the phone live chats or email if you've got a pista gprr which i know a fair amount of you do sound off in the comments below let the community know what you think that does it for today we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate